pleasure cruise turned deadly for passengers enjoying a trip at sea. Their six-week adventure to the Amazon and the Caribbean ending in horror when a wall of water came smashing into the ship. ABC's Jeffrey Kaufman has more from our London Bureau. Bianna, well, so much of North America is in deep snow and deep freeze. Here in the UK, we're being battered by relentless rains and high winds. Coastal and river communities south and west of London are being devastated by floods, and huge waves are causing havoc at sea. Overnight tragedy hitting the high seas when a massive wave crashed into a British cruise ship, killing a man on board. The 288-foot Marco Polo was on its way home to the UK from a 42-day trip when it was struck by a wave while passing through the English Channel. Rushing water shattered a window on board, injuring several of the ship's 735 passengers. Two had to be airlifted off the ship to nearby hospitals, where one, an 85-year-old man, was later pronounced dead. A rogue wave has a tremendous amount of power in it. It's not unusual for a rogue wave to do something like that. It'll shatter the glass and it will hurt people inside. The wave is part of the same blast of vicious weather. It's left tens of thousands here in the UK without power. We are doing everything we can. We are fighting on every front. Last night, the cruise ship's operator tweeted, our thoughts are with the family of the passenger who has sadly died. Even with their massive size, cruise ships can still feel the wrath of the ocean. In 2010, this ship, the Clelia II, was disabled off the coast of South America by 30-foot waves. I just thought, she is a great ship. I hope she holds together. It happens. Rogue waves do hit. And when you're in rough seas, you have to take precautions. This is not just a little bit of that British bad weather. More than 20 communities have severe flood alerts. More than 140,000 homes are without power. And more rain is on the way.